Hi there. Today we are going to talk about layers. Many of you will already be familiar with layers. For those of you who aren't, we are going to quickly run through the main characteristics of layers. As you know, I have put the layers dockers on the left. We have three layers in this picture. Layer 3 is on top and layer 1 is on the bottom. I can make these layers invisible by clicking on the eye. In this way, I can see what is on each layer. Notice that layer 1 is a white background. If I make it invisible, I see that white and gray squares appear. These squares denote transparency. I can change the names of the layers by double-clicking on the text. It's good practice to do this so that you can find your layers back easily. I can change the opacity of each layer up here. I can raise and lower the level of the layer by clicking on these arrows. With this button, I can lock and unlock the layer. This can be useful if I want to make sure that I don't accidentally modify the layer once I'm happy with it. I can add more layers by clicking on this plus button. You can see that there are all sorts of layer types. For now, let's only concern ourselves with paint layer and group layer. Paint layer is just an ordinary layer, what we've been using so far. Group layer is to help us organize our layers into groups. I can add a group layer and move other layers into it. If I right click on layer, I see all sorts, all sorts of options. Cut, copy, paste, and remove layers, I think, speak for themselves. Merge with layer below is interesting. When I apply this, the two layers are merged together. That was a very quick rundown of layers. Layers are an extremely useful feature when it comes to graphical art. We can do all sorts of things with layers. For example, we can create a sketch which we can hide at any time. We can organize our painting into different parts. For example, one layer for the legs, one layer for the arms, and so forth. We can use blending modes to enhance our painting. We will learn more about that later. We can also apply filters and transformations to individual layers. We will also learn more about that on another day. But for now, let's summarize the key points that we have learned in this lesson. We can insert and remove layers. We can change the order of the layers. We can set the opacity of the layers. We can merge layers together. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.